Hi, my name is Molly Nkuz of Brain Mochered Accountants. Today, I want to specifically talk to business owners as well as entrepreneurs. I get asked this question quite often. Molen, how should I pay myself? Should I receive a salary or should I get a dividend? Today, let's dissect this question a little bit more to enable you to make good decisions. First of all, there is no right or wrong answer in this case. All I can say for now is it depends with your situation. Remember to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on future content that will help you to enhance your business growth. Okay, let's get into it right away. Salaries are taxed according to the income tax tables for natural persons. The tax tables works on a sliding scale that is from 18 to 45%. Can you believe that at some point you can reach a point where you are almost doing a 50-50 share with the state? See the tax table that are shown on this screen so you can be aware of the sliding scale. If you earn one rand to 226,000, you get taxed at 18% and the scale goes up at the more you earn more. If you are earning 173, 1600, you end above, you are taxed at 45%. So the basic principle is the more you earn, the more you get taxed. You need to take a closer look at the tax table on the uh, right now on the screen when you decide actually to increase the salaries of your team, especially those of your executive and of yourself, so that you have a clue of what the tax implication will be. There are key things as a business owner that you need to take note of. For example, when you want to do a payout to yourself, an additional income payout, you need to understand the tax implications and make a decision on whether to do that payout via a salary channel or as a dividend. Be aware that the amount of taxation you will pay on the additional income will differ from person to person depending on which income bracket you fall in. Let's look at two scenarios. Just a disclaimer on these two scenarios. These scenarios do not take into account the effect of medical aid contribution or any other contribution for that matter. For these, refer to our video that we released, Tips to Pay Less Tax, for more information on how those deductions or those contributions affect your tax. Okay, scenario number one. Let's say you have an additional 120,000. Nice to have a bit of additional year and day, right? So let's say you have this 120,000 that you want to do a payout to yourself. If this is the only payout you are making to yourself, meaning that that's the only income you have received from the company for that particular year, this automatically means you fall into the first bracket and you'll be taxed at a rate of 18%. And the taxation on this income will actually be 21,000. Uh, 600 less the primary rebate of 16425 and give you a tax of 5175 and you get a net of 114825 uh, francs scenario number two if you have already received a salary before this 120,000 additional income then your tax situation will change altogether let's say you already received a salary of 1,731,600 during the year does this number ring a bell yes that's the threshold that we spoke about the highest tax bracket this simply means that anything you get above 1731600 1, will be taxed at the highest bracket which is 45 percent so the tax on this additional income will be 54,000. that is 120 times 45 percent and you get a net of 66,000. as you can see there is a big big difference between scenario number one and scenario number two in terms of the tax on the additional income. In cases like this, I urge you to, you need proper advice or you need to do a bit of tax planning to avoid paying unnecessary tax. Remember, tax avoided is legal, but evasion is illegal. You will definitely go to jail if you evade tax. So let your accountant or your tax practitioner advise you on whether to do salary or dividend payouts on your additional payout in this case on the 120,000 payout. Dividends <coughs> are taxed at a rate of 20%, but it's very important to know that this is not the only tax taken out of this amount. In fact, 
you pay an effective tax of 41.6% on this amount. Let me explain clearly. Dividends are paid out to you from the profits after the company tax, meaning the amount you get as a dividend has already been subjected to company tax, which is 27% in South Africa right now. That is if your company is not a SBC or micro business. Check out our video on micro business tax. The video title is pay less tax or need to tax if you are a startup. Please people don't get things mixed up. Telling us that I've made a loss in my company while you are busy declaring dividends at the same time. You need to know that salary is a business expense and it reduces the profit while the dividends doesn't reduce the profit at all. Dividends are profits distribution. Let's look at how salary and dividends differ through an example. Let's say you have this 120,000 that we are speaking about today. You want to pay yourself as a director. Should you decide to do that via a salary channel, the salary will reduce the profit. Remember that the salary will now be taxed using the individual tax table and in your own personal capacity. And in this scenario, scenario number two, you would have paid 54,000 and your net would have been 66,000. Should you decide to do so via a dividend, the dividend will not reduce the profit, remember. The profit of 120,000 will first be taxed at 27%, which is the common tax rate, and giving you a tax of 32,400 francs that the company will have to pay to SAS. The remaining amount of 87,600, that is 120 minus 32,400, can now be paid to you as a dividend, but this will be subjected to a further 20% dividend tax. The amount that you will be paid to you net of dividend tax of 20% will be 70,080. Oh guys, I know money mates, we all good at it, right? Regardless of the fact that you are an accountant or you are not money mates, everyone know it. Okay, so in simple, should you decide to pay out that 120,000 as a dividend, the effective tax rate on dividends is 41.6%. That is the tax on the profit, 32,400 plus 17,520, the dividend tax divided by 120,000 distribution to give you 41.6% effective tax. That's it for today, folks. In conclusion, the highest income tax bracket is 45% for taxpayers who earn more than 1,731,600 per year, which is more than the effective dividend tax rate of 41.6%. The income under 1731600 is taxed at 41%, which is less than the effective tax rate on dividends of 41.6%. Should you already earn more than 1731600, then it's better to distribute the additional income as a dividend. If you earn the total, if you, your total income is less than 1731600, then it will be better to distribute the income as a salary. Remember, you need to seek advice so that you take everything into account don't forget to click the subscribe button for the future notification or rather to simply share this video to your loved ones see you in the next video